Hey oh, welcome to Weekly Hunts. First of all, happy Halloween. I hope you guys are having a good day. Hope you're getting in the spooky mood if that's your thing, or doing something you enjoy if spookiness is not your thing. Uh, but we're gonna be playing some Monster Hunter today. I already have me and three other lovely hunters lined up for our hunt. We're gonna uh, do the quest that'll unlock my 49 master ranks. We'll do that. Uh, it's just gonna be me for most of the stream. The other allies are busy shooting other things, so I'm gonna be helming weekly hunts. And we're ready. We already have three people in here, and we can just leave right now. Stand by for departure. Hold down the fort. That's right. We're holding down the fort. Is anybody playing anything spooky? Watching anything spooky tonight? I'm doing Luigi's Mansion 3. That's what I'm doing. And I think some of you in chat are also doing that. Playing Luigi's Mansion. Yep, yep, yep. Terminator spooky? It's definitely got some spook in it. Terminator 1 especially, I would say, has some spook in it. Terminator 1 is, a, is, is actually, truly, I know we say this all the time, a 10. I never get more confused on where I'm going in Monster Hunter than in the ancient forest. No matter how many times I go here, I still get tripped up. Alright, we got some scales. We get the path going. Also, when small monsters aggro, that's bad. Small monsters aggro a lot here. You, it's very easy to piss off Dragresses. Ancient Force is designed by Mammon. Right? It's, it's cool in a lot of ways. I like how Labyrinthian is, but sometimes when you just want to hunt, it is a pain. Hey, look at that. Rathian came to us. And now it's gone. But it's close. Um, we're doing a tempered Rathian and a tempered Nightshade Paolumu for our monsters. So hopefully it goes smoothly. I haven't played Monster Hunter since last week, so I'm definitely going to be a little rusty. But hopefully the rust shakes off pretty quick. Right, let's do it. It's already roared, we'll do some coral. Nope. Uh, we should have grabbed some slinger. Let's keep it up. So. There we go. All right, quick, quick mount. Wait, what? Oh, I see. They got him. What? No, I didn't kill him. Um, it's great when they do this because they get him down for a really long time and get a bunch of food damage. It's just forever. It's just like an eternity. Not a great spot to try to rack in them. Don't want to get poisoned. Try to stick on that tail as best I can here. Looks like he's softening it up. Which is great. Or no, he was dropping it. Okay. We'll take the end. Uh 
Oh no. Hey, we got feeling insurance though, that's nice. Didn't you take a first aid men plus? I love when you just get so in tune with a monster. Like, there are just some monsters that you're just comfortable with. And it's just like muscle memory the entire fight. It's like, alright, I know what Rat is going to Oh, damn, okay. We just got stepped on. It's gonna be, uh, it's gonna be tight, this hunt. I didn't know it was gonna do that! It's raining in Michigan, it's snowing in Michigan. That sucks. I miss the snow, though. I'm actually really excited to go home and see snow, hopefully. Do we have decent weather here? It's really good Halloween weather here in Southern California. It's like warm, but not too warm, which is nice. You know that 251 has a game called Michigan Report from Mel? I do, yeah, yeah. I'm familiar with Michigan Report from Mel. I've never gotten to play it, but it seems like something that I would love. It'd make for a great stream game. I don't think we have a copy of it, to be honest. That would be really nice thing to, to get. It'd be fun. I, You know, it's those things that you forget in the moment, but that would be a good, like, next year Halloween stream game for us to order ahead of time. Got it to stagger just before it went on crazy ones. Coming down. Happy Halloween. Happy Halloween. Two cards already, so I'm gonna try to play extra cards. Oh, it's weekend, okay, nice. You plus call this sucker. Nice, alright, one down, one down, one down. Probably the tougher of the two, I would say, too. But I don't think I fought tempered nightshade, so we'll see. Uh, what do we? What do you guys want to hunt after this? Do you want to do some guiding lands? I don't think we've done guiding lands on stream. We haven't done guiding lands on stream. We could do some guiding lands. Mm. 
Have you ever done an arena on stream? I think we have. It's, I mean, it's been a long time, but I'm pretty sure we've done a couple of arenas on stream. Ian is busy shooting. Can't wait for your review tomorrow, Ben. Yeah, it's going up at midnight. I, uh, I it'll be interesting to see where everybody falls on Death Stranding. I don't think I have um, flashbacks, but review of Death Stranding. The Death Stranding reviews are going to be going live tonight at 12.01. Did you get here late? Uh, we started about 12 minutes ago. So now you're good. Two hour stream, you good. Really wish I would have gotten the first aid man. How many of you are on the fence with this training? How many of you are on board with this training? How many of you are like, nope, not playing it, not my thing? I'm curious what the disparity in chat is. Nope, on the fence. On board. See, we got it all. We got it all. A wide spectrum for Death Stranding. Your review was swinging one way or another. Yeah, um, I was saying this on the other stream. It's nice. I some, Sometimes you you run into those reviews where you're not sure how you feel about it, and so you, you kind of go back and forth in your mind a little bit. I feel like... Thanks to the amount of time I was given to do the Death Stranding review, like it was hard, it took a while to get there, but I'm like, yeah, I feel really good about this evaluation. I feel very confident in this. And I don't always get to have that, so that's nice. The other is having to the chance to play through, because uh, okay. To be clear, the there are other allies that have already finished the game as well. Um, Huber's finished the game. Brad's finished the game. Damiani's finished the game. Ian has finished the game. Did it affect your process at all? Uh, we definitely talked about it for sure, and I think talking about it, uh, you know, helped solidify my own opinions. But no one really like changed my mind on it. There wasn't an opinion that I had. And then I heard something, and then I was like, oh, okay, I don't feel that way anymore. Like, that didn't happen. But it was really nice, you know, getting to vocalize thoughts and hearing how other people were responding to it as well. So, yeah, talking about it is awesome. But no, it did, in, in spite of that, the process felt very similar. I've seen that coming. Spoiler mode, yeah, the spoiler mode will be fun. I imagine it will be long. If there are any other greatsword users in chat, but one of my least favorite things about using the greatsword is when it's like, ooh, it might be going right to 
No. Looks like it's over to the left. Is when it's you you have a monster down and you're trying to hit its tail, and it's like your swing just somehow goes around its tail. Like it wiggles its tail in just a way that it goes around your giant swing. Which is funny. That poor guy trying to put that shot trap there right at the end. That's what happens with dual blades if the tail pushes you away. Yeah. Yeah. Or like his feet will push you away and you would have normally gotten the hit, but you just get pushed just to the side and you can't get it anymore. The stiffness of animation collision is part of the charm. Sure, but you still want the hit. Hypersexual hunt! Alright. GG. Good hunt. Quest successful. Now we've got our mastering online. we got to get to 70 so we can hunt the super shiny... Uh, we gotta we gotta fight gold and silver. Yeah, thanks for the hunts, Heeds, Mario, Serenity. Appreciate it. I only want my Dodo Gamma plushie to get here. More excited than that than Iceborne NPC. Nice. I don't think I have any Monster Hunter plushies. I've got Monster Hunter figures, but I don't think I have any plushies. Can't wait for you to fight Ruin or Nergigante. I think you'll love that fight. Yeah, I've got a taste of it in the story, but I know what you mean, the full full deal. Did you watch The Joker? I did watch The Joker, yeah. Saw it in theaters. A couple weeks ago? Two weeks ago, I want to say. Something like that. Love your Valhazak plushie. I didn't know they made a Valhazak plushie. That's cool. Not something that I would expect them to make a plushie out of. Valsack pisses me off so much. Hey! That's a bump. Probably from those hunts that we've been doing. We gotta pet our Dodo Gamma. Alright, should we do Guiding Lands? I think we should do Guiding Lands. What do you guys want to do? We're kind of open. We, we haven't had this much openness in a while. Because he isn't Lunastra. I don't mind Lunastra. <laughs> I get why people don't like Lunastra, though. I do. I get it. Valhazak was the easiest ever for me. It's I don't even find Valhazak hard. Val, regular Valhazak is totally super chill. Black Veil isn't hard either. It's just annoying for me. Um, but with with four people, it's fine. But yeah, regular Valhazak is very, very easy. Arch-tempered is kind of a pain in the butt. Arch-tempered, because... 
the the classic like Valzak, you're like running into the fight, and he hits you with his beam all the way at the end. Like that's a pain in the ass. What if they just put Palicos in Smash? I would just be down for a Palico fighter. I think. All right, let's do guiding plants, shall we? All right, so what's the best way to do this? I've already departed for the Guiding Lands. Should I just fire, fire up an SOS flare, and then you guys join that? You join the expedition? How do you feel about the sales of Fire Emblem Three Houses and Link's Awakening? 2.29 million and 3 million. That's great, because they're great games. Um, I'm particularly happy about Fire Emblem, right? Like, keep that going strong. They, they made so many right decisions on Three Houses. I wonder if this, they'll do something along the lines of Echoes again. I would really like that. I'd like kind of an alternate between main and remake or, or something along those lines. Or even a collection would be awesome. I think that'd be really cool. Would love some Okami crossover with Monster Hunter like Ari did. I think that's definitely in the cards. Is Three Houses your favorite now? Um, I don't know. I'd have to think about that, but I'm not sure. I like it. All right. Yeah, you guys can just join the expedition from the menu. So why don't we do that? Because you guys are in the session. We'll just have you join the expedition from the menu. Okay, cool. Cool, cool, cool. And then we'll we'll raise some guiding levels. Fire Emblem 4 is the best. I haven't played 4. Put it out. Want me to put the session ID in chat? Yeah, go for it. It should also be in the title, so people should see it, but you know, you can put it wherever, that's fine. Uh-oh. Are we getting a bug? Because like he's tried to join. And then it didn't work. Too late on the rocks there. Do you think people's reactions to the Death Stranding reviews once the environment is lifted will be interesting? Uh, that... There's a very well-worded question that I can't answer. I can't give any sort of qualitative opinion on Death Stranding. Ask me at midnight. Oh, hey, Mario had got in. That's nice. Traffic sucks. I'm sorry, schmuck. I feel like this is a, the, these weekly hunt times are rough for you, man. What about a qualitative opinion on the quality of the review? Well, shout out Ian. I can say Ian edited the review, and what I'm really so impressed about with Ian is he's extremely fast, and normally people that are too fast aren't very good at their job. Ian is very good at his job and very fast. Um, and as somebody who takes a long time to do things, who's very slow, it's something I really respect. Like, it's really nice 
watching a review of yours and being like, oh yeah, I have no notes. Alright, we gotta be a little more careful than that being. So yeah. But yeah, I think the review turned out really well. I hope people like it. I, I, <laughs> I'm just saying for myself, you know, I, I try to put so much effort into the reviews and try to really give you guys the best job that I possibly can. So hopefully it turns out good. I feel like YouTube comments are going to be a bloodbath one way or another for the rest of the year. That's kind of just YouTube comments though. <laughs> That's just how they go. The best ones, the ones that are like really, really, really entertaining is when they get like somebody just makes something up that isn't true and they're just like, yes, this is true. This is exactly how this person felt. But you, you learn to get some distance from it and just, you learn to laugh at it a little bit. Um... But yeah, YouTube comments are a bloodbath in general. Do you see if there are any restrictions, guidelines, on what can be shown during the review? There were restrictions, I don't know if I can go into detail about them. Uh, yeah, if you guys do want to get in, because I know we had four people for the last time, there is a spot open on the Guiding Lance thing, but it might have bugged out. I don't know if Heath is in chat, but I'm wondering what happened to Heath. Hopelessly addicted to Binding of Isaac, which I do. You should keep playing. Binding of Isaac's great. Have we done a Binding of Isaac stream? That would be fun. I'm certainly no Binding of Isaac expert, but I enjoy the game. Yo, where is Super Meat Boy Forever? Where is that game? Wasn't, wasn't it supposed to be out? The last I checked, I thought it was supposed to be out. Something must have happened. Great. 
still waiting for Crosscode on PS4. I, Crosscode is a game I've been meaning to play for over a year now. Everybody who's played Crosscode has really good things to say about it. But yeah, we're, at, we're kind of at the point where it's like, alright, time to catch up for a game of the year time. Like, I'd really love to give Disco Elysium a fair shot before end of the year. Uh, we'd love to finish Ace Combat 7, Gears 5. AI, play AI, the Summon Files. There's a lot to get to. And the Pokemon review. We still got that coming. Want to check out After Party as well? Are reviews up for After Party? I think I saw an eight IGN review. I think they gave it an eight five. We got sharpen. Yeah, I should cover Crusader Kings 3 when it comes out. <laughs> we are not currently qualified to cover Crusader Kings. I'm interested in Crusader Kings, though. It just seems like a, a huge time commitment. Uh, which isn't bad. Just haven't done it. I'm sure, if given the time, though, I'm sure I would do Crusader Kings 2. It's kind of nice just topic from one loss to the other. Getting upgrade parts. Bible thump for the Dodo Gamma. Uh, does anybody in chat still play Apex Legends? I've been strangely getting back into Apex Legends, and I really like it a lot. A lot, a lot. It's been kind of like my cool-off game. What do you think of the new duos mode? I actually haven't seen anything on the new duos mode. I've been doing the uh, fight or fright and then the new the new map. Uh, but I haven't done duos, actually. Do people still play Apex? It seems... It still seems fairly popular, I would say. Not, like, the height that it was, but... I do from time to time. It's fun. Yeah, it is really fun. Take care, Ben and Chat. Have a good one. You too, fam.
I'm not even getting any tracks. Well, we got a coral. No, we don't. I feel like Coral Puke Puke is a good Halloween monster. A good fall monster. It's got fall colors. Spooky, spooky. Yeah, there you go. I think Easy Allies needs to do another monster or something. A music video for Phuket Phuket would be fun. We'd have to have like some mysterious person be the Phuket. Billy Zane. Billy Zane would be Phuket Phuket. No, Don is too Don is too obvious. Very mysterious still. No. It's got it, we gotta no one would guess it. Not even a not even possible. It needs to be a next level mysterious. We would have a lot of fun making a music video. It'd take a ton of time, but it's fun. Ian did a whole music video. He needs to send easy at great swords first. I would love to just hang a giant great sword on the wall that has like a weekly hunt sign above it. That'd be sick. Weird Al would be good. And he just like randomly brings it up in an interview. I wonder how much Weird Al would charge to be our Fuku Fuku. Weird Al would be perfect. That's going to be a hard one to let go of. We could have Weird Al help us with the song, too. Maybe get some uh, some accordion in there. Weird allies? We already get pretty weird. That's what I love about doing our group streams, is you never know where the conversation's gonna go. You know, you could ask me a hundred times, like, hey, what are you gonna talk about tonight? And it's like, God, some of the shit that we talk about, I could never forget. Which is what makes it fun. Billy Zane, I guess. 
Yeah. Sometimes, chat, be honest with me. How many times have you personally been in a situation where something is really funny for us? Like, we're laughing hysterically, but it's not funny for you. How often has that happened? 17 times. Every time. <laughs> See, every time. That's I, I appreciate that honesty. Countless. Is it annoying, endearing, or both? Does it start unfunny and then we go at it so hard that it becomes funny? The fact that you all think it's so funny makes it funny. Does it include laughing at me? No, no. No, no. You never know who's going to be the funniest person on the stream. Like, somebody will just say something completely random, and then it's just like, you know, you have that moment on the streams. I think with our group streams, you just kind of have that moment where somebody says so ridiculous. It's almost like they open a door to chaos. Because there's definitely a mood swing. Like everybody's about the same level of chill, and then somebody will say something insane. And it's off the rails. I enjoy Blood's humor. Blood's humor is great because they're, he's funny sometimes when he's trying to be, and he's also funny sometimes when he's not trying to be. And it's good to have both things. Bloody Edge was really good. Downstream is really good. I believe they're really good. It's just kind of a weird thing. It's hard to explain unless you're in the situation, but like I, I enjoy checking out other ally streams from time to time, but I wouldn't want to watch them religiously because I think it's good to just not always be working. Like that's something that we all struggle with. Like we're pretty much working or thinking about work all the time. And so like even if something is really good, I kind of just need some distance from it. It's not a personal thing. It's not anything against any of the other allies. It's just, you know, it could just separate. That's all. So, yeah.
Gotta get the mental break. Yes. That's a perfect way of saying it. Mental break. That's exactly what it is. Ian and Don are captivated by How would you not be captivated by Deadly Premonition? I feel like I've been trying to bring up Deadly Premonition as often as I can for like ever. It's so good. That game is so good. It's magical. And then experiencing it together is really fun too. Like, just seeing the, the what-the-fuck moments with another person sounds awesome. When did you first play Deadly Premonition? I mean, a lot around when it came out. Uh, a long time ago. I played it on the 360. And I've been talking about it on and off ever since. But yeah, Deadly Premonition was my introduction to swearing. This is really nice, getting these Guiding Land levels up. And getting to talk about swearing. I'm not gonna lie though, I'm both really excited and slightly worried about Deadly Premonition 2. Not because I don't think Deadly Premonition 2 will be good, but Deadly Premonition is just one of those games that I hold in my heart that I think no matter what I'd be nervous about a sequel, I'm sure it'll come out and I'll love it and I'll, I won't have a bad thing to say about it, but I think any time when you like something that much, it's hard not to be nervous about. I was nervous about the Watchmen show uh, until I watched it, and I adore that. But I'm sure you guys get that way with things as well. Something that is like really sacred to you, and they're like, okay, we're doing it again. And you're like, okay, but I'm nervous. I'm on board, I'm there day one. You watched the Watchmen. I do. I do. And I thought the trailers were not that great for that show, and that's... Oh, 10 out of 10. Please... Please watch that show. I was nervous for Castlevania, but that's what I want. I was nervous for Castlevania. For sure. But that was a different thing. That was more of a, I'm not at a point where I trust video game adaptations kind of thing. But um, I totally get it. It's hard not having that knee-jerk reaction sometimes. Um... And I have to be a little bit better about catching myself and being like, hey, wait, no, give it a chance. Hold on. Give it a chance. I think especially because it, it'd be one thing if, like, I had to spend money on all of this stuff. But a lot of it, right, is coming out on streaming services. And so it's like, well, I'm already paying for Netflix anyway. You know, why, why not give it a shot? If something is disappointing, it can still be good. Yes, Lukensky, I agree with that so much. Yes, 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 yes. I feel that way about several things. Yeah, something can still be disappointing and still be good. Totally. 
What do you think the two blue point remakes are that they teased? There's a lot in that tweet, you know? It could be tons of things. Um, Symphony of the Night seems like a possibility. Siphon Filter seems like a possibility. Demon Souls seems like a possibility. Metal Gear Solid. I don't know. Um, I don't know. And I, I wish I could just be like, I'm pretty sure it's this, and make a hard guess, but I really don't know. Yeah, Symphony of the Night in 3D. Wouldn't that be crazy? A reimagining. That would be really hard to pull off. But exciting. Exciting that they would even attempt, right? It would be interesting. I don't know whether I love or just like Mario Odyssey. I've definitely seen some people who don't like Mario Odyssey. And I think there are people that give very good reasons for it. I love Mario Odyssey. Um, and, and had just a hell of a time playing it. I don't think I necessarily like it more than other Mario games, or some other like classic Mario games. I don't think I necessarily like it more than Galaxy or 64. But... I love it. I wholeheartedly love it. <clears throat> I think a, a perfect game to describe the, like, disappointing but I still love it is uh, Mario Sunshine. Like, there are super huge valid criticisms against Sunshine, but I still love it overall. Yeah, as somebody who adores both Galaxy 1 and 2, I really do. I like both. I've always been on the Galaxy 2 is better side. Um, but I like both enough that I'm not... I don't know. I don't feel too adamant about it anymore. MGS5, disappointing good. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Why has it got to be like that? I think the story and hub are definitely better in Galaxy 1, for sure. Um, but I, I like the actual levels in 2 better. I do think Galaxy 1 and 2 is kind of a gameplay story thing. Um, and I, I think I fall on the gameplay side of things probably more than Kyle does in a lot of ways, depending on the game. For sure. I hope Breath of the Wild 2 is going to be what Galaxy 2 was without sacrificing the story. If anything, I hope they beef up the storytelling in Breath of the Wild 2. I definitely think it's an area they could be stronger in. I hope there aren't 
Breath of the Wild 2 spoilers. Done a full playthrough of Breath of the Wild on Easy Allies. That would be a stream that would just personally get me very excited. It would get me excited because it's been a significant m amount of time since I've played that game. I'm really jonesing to play it again. Um, I wouldn't be ruining anything for a lot of you guys. I mean, I'm sure there are some people that haven't played it, but you know what I mean. Uh, I yeah, I would love to do that. That that's. A stream that sounds very exciting. But I really like that um, Mike and Mike are doing Majora's Mask. I think that's an excellent idea for a playthrough. Majora's Mask has been so fun, especially because it's Huber's first time. Yeah, how has Huber been taken to it? Um, has it been pretty smooth sailing? I'm curious how it's gone, Chad. Give me the details. Give me the details. He's loving it so much. Nice. That's It's good to hear that he loves it. He'd be the second boss in his first try. That second boss is really fun. The third boss is a pain in the ass. <laughs> or it was for me, anyway. Yeah, the Goron Dungeon boss, the racing, it's super fun. I remember that boss very specifically because it was before school and I was at that boss. And when I was playing that boss, I found out that school got canceled because of snow. And so, like, that boss fight is cool anyway. But the snow day has made it even better in my mind. Uh, snow day bosses, good bosses, for sure. Yeah, it is. It's a really wonderful memory. Before school crunch was a real thing. Yeah, um, I was not good at doing it in high school. I woke up at like the last minute in high school, but middle school and elementary school there was a little bit of game crunching there was definitely watching pokemon before school that happened oh there's a brachydeus let's fight brachydeus brachy's fun Intensive, they'll bring more 3DS franchises to Switch. That's great. It's crazy thinking the difference between the Wii U and the Switch in terms of how I feel about the library, where the Wii U, there would definitely be times where we would even talk to each other at game trailers and be like, man, nothing really of that much interest is coming out on the Wii U in three months. And although the Switch is getting a lot of ports, for sure... It's like the range and style of games is, is so vast and interesting. Like, I don't know. I think that's really cool. What the fuck is going on with these scout flies? We had great games, just great gaps between them, totally.
Wonder how if after now see move over. Yeah, that's a question we've definitely talked about before on chat, but I'd be really interested to know that as well. Ah, uh, that's zero collection, by the way, chat, coming out in January. I'm excited about that. Um, I'm excited about that. What's also nice is I, I just feel like things have more of a microscope on... Yeah, that was my bad. Things have more of a microscope on Switch, and so... I don't know, you just feel like there's a higher chance of having more discussion on it, which is cool. How goes your All Hallows Eve then? It hasn't really felt like Halloween yet, but maybe tonight when I'm playing Luigi's Mansion 3, it'll feel a lot better. But yeah, I think Tuesday definitely felt very Halloween-y to me. Ooh, it was in costume. I ate a lot of candy. That felt very Halloween-y. But it hasn't really felt like Halloween to me. Chat, playing Witcher 3 on Switch is something that I didn't even really intend to do. I was just like, I'm really curious about how this runs. Oh man, I'm playing way more of this than I expected to. And then it, it was that moment where it was like, A, I can't believe I'm playing this on a handheld, and B, I can't believe I'm playing this on a Nintendo platform. But that game, when it, when it grabs you, when you when you feel the pull, it's strong. Just going around, finding hitting treasure, finding places of power, like it's just fun. And the fact that you can do all that and have something else like going on in the background so easily is nice. We played three in Blood and Wine after reading the books this year, man. That was satisfying. And I, I bet. Huge respect to anybody that has read the books. You guys really went the extra mile. How many books are there? Are there three books? I don't know how many books there are. Seven, okay. They're pretty bre breezy reads, actually, like eight books in total. Yeah, I've been I've been wanting to read just any book, really, any fictional book. Um, but I get so decisive, indecisive, indecisive. Interested in the show? At all? I am very interested in the show. Yeah. Curious, for sure. Do you like Audible or prefer reading? Um, I prefer reading. It's weird. I like books on tape. 
audio, audio books. I guess calling them books on tape is a little outdated, huh? I like books on tape. I do. I don't. I really don't have anything against them. But I kind of. There are moments where I really enjoy like the visualization process of reading. I enjoy thinking of the characters and thinking about how they would sound. And sometimes I get tripped up in audiobooks where somebody's doing a voice and it's like, oh, that's cool. In my head, he totally, he or she totally doesn't sound like that. Um, and so I get, I get tripped up on that sometimes. I'm being fussed. But, uh, yeah, I enjoy it. My favorite audiobook, I listened to, I don't know if you guys have ever read or listened to it or whatever it was, Stephen King's On Writing, which was very illuminating. It's a very good book. Even if you have no interest in writing, I think it's a really interesting book because um, he does the narration for it. Um, and him telling his own stories is really, really cool. Are you planning on seeing Dr. Sleep? So... <laughs> I've kind of gone up and down on Dr. Sleep, where I, was, I really love The Shining, and I was like, I don't know that I want to see this movie, I know it's based on the book, I know that Stephen King already knew this himself, but just an idea of, of a sequel to The Shining was a hard sell for me, but people have been loving it, uh, and I'm like, ah, maybe you should give it a chance, and I've, I've since become more open-minded in it, so I'm curious, but... Uh, I always get to go see movies with Abby, and she hates horror. I love horror, and she hates horror, so it might be kind of hard. I might have to wait until that one like, releases on video. It's... It's really fun watching horror movies with somebody who is terrified of them. And you feel like an asshole because you're like, I don't want you to be uncomfortable, but the fact that you're having these big reactions is so entertaining. So it's, a, it's definitely a tough spot because like I enjoy it so much, but I also don't want her to be uncomfortable. But yeah, watching, man, watching anything horror with people who hate it is the best. So you watch it with like a horror buff, and like, ah, oh, no, it didn't really do anything to me. Like, okay, that's not as much fun. It's like roller coasters that way, right? Like, it's way more fun if they're screaming their head off. Favorite comedy horror film? Um, I really like Drag Me to Hell. I feel like that one doesn't get as much love anymore, but I really like Drag Me to Hell. Cabin in the Woods is also pretty great. I do wonder if Cabin in the Woods would hold up on rewatch, though. I haven't seen it since it came out. I've seen Evil Dead 1 and the Evil Dead remake, but I've never seen Evil Dead, because I, and I love Evil Dead 1, uh, I've never seen, I actually like the remake a lot too, I've not seen Evil Dead 2 or Army of Darkness, I've never seen either, and I really need to change that, uh, because I've been meaning to watch both for years. Evil Dead 2 is basically a remake of Evil Dead 1, but better. Yeah, I actually was at Best Buy, and I bought... An Evil Dead 1 and 2 combo pack and an Army of Darkness Blu-ray. So, like, I'm ready. I'm primed. The show. Yeah, I really want to watch the show. I feel like I need to watch Evil Dead 2 and Army of Darkness before I watch the show. Though. But, yeah. How do people feel about uh, Army of Darkness? By the way.
Army of Darkness is more common against Horror. I'm okay with that. I'm okay with that. The Evil Dead remake is... It's messed up. That was a... Uh, that was a messed up movie. Ex like... Extreme violence, I would say. I really want to see Lighthouse and Parasite. I didn't know until recently that Lighthouse was directed by the director of The Witch, which skyrockets interest in that. I want to see the. I want to see Lighthouse. I want to see Parasite. Um, I kind of want to see Zombieland Double Tap. I'm not like jumping up and down about it, but I'm curious for sure. It's interesting because um, there was a lot of divisiveness around Midsummer, um, and I watched it recently. I think I've mentioned this before, and I really love Midsummer a lot. Midsummer is is up there for me as far as movies of the year go. I really loved it. I think I think I like Midsummer as much as I like Hereditary. Did you see the director's cut? No, I saw the theatrical cut of Midsummer. That slash was not needed. Are you planning to see The Irishman, the new Scorsese film? I wouldn't say I'm planning on it, but I definitely would. I definitely would. I very much enjoy that type of movie. I consider, like, Goodfellas a masterpiece. For sure. I need to watch Goodfellas again. I've only seen it once. So what's Terminator Dark Fate? So I was pretty sure Terminator Dark Fate was going to be trash, but then the reviews changed my mind. I really want to watch Terminator Dark Fate. And that's one that Abby would totally be going to go see. So yeah, I want to see Terminator Dark Fate. I'd like to if I could. I'm open to it. The thing about The Irishman, and this, this isn't even really... A criticism, but it's kind of hard to evaluate because it's just like, oh, this is just Scorsese doing a super Scorsese-ass Scorsese film. It just seems so much in his wheelhouse that it's maybe a little jarring, uh, but that doesn't mean it isn't good or great. Yeah, chapter 2 is putting me off the three-hour movies. Yeah, I need to see it, chapter 2. I liked it, chapter 1. I wasn't, like, crazy obsessed with it or, or blown away by it. I liked it. But I have reservations about it, chapter 2. The fact that it's three hours is not... Did blood get sick from that in the game? No, I don't think anyone got sick. I guess I don't know for sure. I definitely was not feeling great on the stream. I was definitely getting a little sick from candy on the stream.
haven't seen any important Scorsese movies, but I've seen Hardcore Henry like five times. Follow your heart. You can't go wrong. What is the kind of cinema you don't get or can't fly with at all? That's a good question. I'm very mood-based when it comes to movies. Like, I'll get in kicks, right? Where it's like, oh, I just want to watch horror, or I just want to watch this. Um, but, like, a good example of a movie that I hate. Uh, I hate Hostel 2. I hate... Like... What's a good way to describe it? I hate watching a movie and feeling like I just wasted my time or that like like violence is nothing but like it serves no purpose i hate watching a movie and and, and not getting anything out of it. Um, that's hard for me to accept yeah not not into it's hard i'm not into torture porn yeah absolutely I really like Saw 1 a lot, but none of the other Saw movies hit with me quite as much. I thought Saw 3 was kind of interesting, but then I just got to a point where I was like, yeah, I'm good. I'm good. So you hate pointless movies. I'm not doing a very good job of describing it. Hostel 2 is a really good example, though. Seen Train to be Summoned? No, I haven't. I get that feeling a lot with games, especially on the story side. Yeah. I hear you. I, I think that's why I've become more gameplay focused over time, is just because I do find that a lot of game stories are unsatisfying. Um, or not quite as good as they could be. And you should watch The Prestige. I think I've seen The Prestige. I always get that and something else mixed up. What was my favorite video game story in this channel? That's a good question. Um, what comes to mind very quickly is I really like Nier Automata's story. I like the way that it told it. It definitely had me kind of in awe at times be simply because of its storytelling. Um, so Nier Automata definitely comes to mind. Thoughts on candy corn? I don't like candy corn. I don't like it. I don't like candy corn. I, it's not that, like, I won't eat it, but, yeah, I'm not reaching for candy corn. And there's not many food that I can say that about. I like most food. For sure. You could set Jones's Jones into candy corn. I feel like my mom really likes candy corn as well. Mallow cream. I don't think I've ever had a mallow cream pumpkin. I don't really like peeps either, though. If it's like peeps, I don't really like peeps. Do we just did a lap for me. I really liked Cadbury eggs as a kid. I don't think I would like them now. I 
I think it's too much now. I know <laughs> the Tuesday stream kind of goes against this, but I don't do... I don't go heavy on sweets. I wouldn't say that like I have a, a sweet tooth. Like I don't really do dessert. I don't really eat cake. Uh, hardly ever. I will do ice cream from time to time, but... And I'll do candy occasionally, but not, not very often. Payday candy bars? I like payday candy bars. I gotta disagree on that one. I like, I like payday. I didn't have payday until I was an adult. I wish, man. Have you tried Joe's Italian ice cream in Anaheim? I haven't, no. I really, as far as we're talking about candy bars, you know what I do like? The Hershey's Gold with the pretzel inside of it. If you haven't tried Hershey's Gold with the pretzel inside of it, do yourself a favor. That and Cookies and Cream, very, very good. Hershey's Gold is good. See, chat, you guys know what's up. You always know what's up. Hershey's is terrible chocolate. I With Hershey's, I like need something in it. I'll eat it by itself. I like dark chocolate a lot. I like dark chocolate a lot more than milk chocolate. But I really like like almonds and chocolate, regular peanuts and chocolate. Um, that sort of thing. Yeah, Hershey's Gold is not chocolate. So if you have an aversion to to it's just chocolate, it's not that. Hershey's is American chocolate or European friends seem to prefer darker. If you prefer dark chocolate, I totally get it, man. Because you're right. Ben, if you want great dark chocolate, I can sort you out. That's probably true. Like, I probably don't even know how good it can get. Like, I believe you. A lot of the foreign candy that we've been sent, and we've been sent a lot at Easy Allies, is better on average, like, way better on average than I think, like, average American candy. I agree with that. Yeah. I was trying to see if that. Never failed. Damiani is a chocolate snob. <laughs> what? I didn't know this. What? Ah. Uh -huh. You have Jolly Ranchers in the heart to be. I like Jolly Ranchers. I would never describe Jolly Ranchers as a favorite. I don't think. But, yeah, I like them. I like them. Starburst are a definite favorite, for sure. I like Starburst a lot. I've always really liked Milky Way a lot. Now, you want to talk about true S-tier status, chat. If you want the real secret. Snickers ice cream bars. And what's funny is I feel like I haven't had a Snickers ice cream bar in years. But every time I do, every time I do, it's real good. Man, that sounds good. I might pick up some Snickers ice cream bars on the way home. That'd be a Halloween treat. Choco Tacos. Choco Tacos are good. Yeah, Choco Tacos remind me of summer camp. That would always be the thing. My dad and I would get Choco Tacos at summer camp, like the Boy Scout summer camp. I haven't had a Choco Taco in forever either. Does they even have Choco Tacos in California? I don't know. Do 
Dude, Ben Fuck Snickers ice cream is the absolute best. Isn't it, though? And you forget about it. I don't know why, but you forget about it. You forget about Snickers ice cream. Or I do. Maybe you don't. Maybe you have some in your freezer right now. But, like, it's weird. I know how good it is. And I almost never think about it. I will never forget about Snickers ice cream. There are people who don't like regular Snickers, and I can get down on a regular Snickers just fine. But Snickers ice cream is on a whole nother level. I'm trying to think of candy that I, like, absolutely hate. We've already talked about Peeps, I guess. Man, Peeps suck. Peeps just suck. I've, they've always looked cool, but anytime I would get them, like, as a gift or something, I'd, I'd want to like it, and I just couldn't. Microwave peeps are good? Never had microwave peeps. Have you guys had the white chocolate Kit Kats? Those are pretty good. I'm a big white chocolate fan as well. All right, chat. I'm going to reach out. What is the best movie that you've seen this year? And what is the worst movie that you've seen this year? I'm actually more interested in the worst movie. White chocolate Kit Kats are better than the normal ones. I agree. Best movie is Parasite by far. The Parasite hype. It's always interesting when you have those pieces of media where you're like, it doesn't even matter what comes out the rest of the year. This is it. This is going to be the top. Worst Hellboy? I kind of want to see Hellboy, but yeah, it looks pretty bad. Worst was a horror movie called Cold Skin. Ugh. Detective Pikachu is maybe your worst. I like Detective Pikachu. I get it, though. I get it. I don't know if it's really fair to call it worst, but... Man, I thought Ant-Man and the Wasp was super boring. I know that's not this year, but I thought that was a pretty boring-ass movie. Oh, I know the worst movie that I've seen this year. It, And it wasn't, like, offensively bad. It was just kind of whatever. And there were parts that were okay, but D Dumbo wasn't great. Dumbo was not great at all. It was okay. I haven't seen um, Aladdin or Lion King. I also did not like Joker. I was not a Joker fan. It was a very well-made movie. For sure. Toy Story 4 was fine. I need to watch Toy Story 4. We have it. But I haven't watched it yet. What are your expectations for episode 9? I don't know, man. I really liked the last trailer, and I want to be excited, and I do always inevitably get excited for Star, Star Wars. But I don't know. 
Star Wars is really hard for me because at the time that I encountered the original trilogy, it was like I was watching magic on screen and like you just, you can't compete with it. Like it's not even fair to compete with that. There is no way it can ever match up. So it's, it's hard, I think it's just hard for me aligning my expectations in a way that feels fair. I don't know. I'm gonna pump for Mandalorian almost. I gotta watch the uh, new Mandalorian trailer. I thought the first trailer looked promising. I feel like with Star Wars, sometimes I'm like trying to make myself like it more than I actually do. Uh, it's, it's hard. It's hard having expectations in check for it. Oh, I did buy Rise of Skywalker tickets, though, so at least I have those opening night. And that's always fun. I, I don't do that very often where I go, I, I, that was totally me. I had ample time to not fuck that up. Um, I used to do it a lot more. I used to go to opening night for movies a lot more. And it's always fun, man. Like, the Warcraft movie is not a good movie. But going with Easy Allies guys, like, I will always have a soft spot in my heart for it. We had a blast. Uh, just the energy that with that group was fantastic. He like went, he got lost with the wrong way. What were your expectations for the Warcraft movie going in? I don't really remember. I don't think they were sky high or anything. But they weren't rock bottom either. I think I think I was optimistic going into the Warcraft movie. The best thing about the Warcraft movie was elimination on two flavors. Yeah. Man, for so long I loved different flavors of Mountain Dew. And I still do. I mean, I, I still I bet uh, Pitch Black and Baja Blast are just as delicious as they've always been. But this year I've actually pretty much, for the most part, gotten off regular soda, which is good.
I didn't try Sweet Lightning either. I need to have Raising Canes again. My one and only Raising Canes experience was great. That's so good right now. I'm so hungry because I haven't had lunch. I need food. These fucking swings I'm taking. get a burrito. Yeah, I don't use the... The other allies use the burrito place that we have right next to us a lot. And I need to use it more, for sure. Popeye chicken sandwich comes back to you. I've only had Popeye's a few times. I've never had this famous chicken sandwich that everybody's... I gotta look up where the nearest Popeye is. This, this has to end. We have to get that Popeye's chicken sandwich. The internet has, like, lost their mind over this thing. Thanks for sticking around in the guiding these people. Pretty smooth. Song. I hope I don't take food advice from the internet. Well, the thing about food advice from the internet is it's just so wildly varied. But I'm definitely down to try it. Those lines were horrible. Did you just did you just try to go get Popeye sandwich? Seeing the uh, fast food tier list and like how some people's F's were S tier and some people's S tier were like middling or low, uh, people really disagree about fast food. You can just say in and out and the internet will eat itself alive. That's all you have to say. Yoshinoya SSS tier. I actually, I've had Yoshi, I've only had Yoshinoya a couple of times, but I haven't, haven't had a great experience at Yoshinoya. Are any of you going to BlizzCon? No. Is that not the most controversial fast game? Ah. I don't know, I see it argued about a lot, but I don't know if it's most controversial. Looking forward to your Death Stranding review, most anticipated review for me ever. Oh wow, yeah. Well, I hope you like it. I have not had Whataburger. I don't think I've had Whataburger. And if I have, it's only been once. Fingernailing food, oh my god. I've never, if I ever had like a fingernail in my food, I don't think I could eat at that place ever again. Ever. 
That's disgusting. There was a long time ago, there was somebody who ordered, <laughs> I sh I'm gonna ruin people on Wendy's, there was, a, there was somebody that like had a severed finger in the chili that they ordered from Wendy's. This was a long time ago, but I've never forgotten that story, and when I order the chili from Wendy's, I still think about it. Yeah, they, there was like a severed finger in their Wendy's chili. That's why Ben always orders the chili. No, I only get the chili every once in a while. Wendy's Nuggets, though. Now we're talking. Wendy's is great, so every person on. I, I do, I like Wendy's. I like me some Wendy's. Wen Wendy's is very reliable for me. There's some places you go and it's like, that was great or that was terrible, and it's all up and down. Wendy's is, is nice and consistent. I wouldn't say it's the best, but it's consistent. All reliable. Is this stream just going to end with us all doing a fast stream tier list? Is that how it's going to end? What is better than Taco Bell being drunk at I have a, I have a love-hate relationship with Taco Bell. Ah! Denny's for being drunk at 3 a.m. Yeah, diners, late night ventures, diners are the best. I agree. I agree. That's a good call. I think I like In N Out more than Five Guys. No, I know I like In N Out more than Five Guys. We're gonna wake the beast with that one. Waffle House in the South late at night. I've never been to Waffle House. I've kind of always wanted to go to Waffle House. I've always been curious about Waffle House, but I've never been. Um, we didn't have Waffle House in the Midwest. I should go to camp. Denny's? Yeah, I like Denny's a lot. I like Denny's and IHOP a lot. I like diner food a lot. You get the triple threat. You get coffee, you get orange juice, you get chocolate milk. And you just have like a nice big old plate of eggs. Now that's living. That is living. Come to Jersey, Diner Paradise. Never been to Jersey. The experiences that I've had on the East Coast, though, have been great. Uh, I've been to Boston a couple times, love Boston. Been to New York once, really love New York. Um, but never been to Jersey. Oh, no, I, I was in Jersey a little bit visiting family, I think. But I didn't, like, experience Jersey. I didn't, like, go around to Jersey.
wearing jerseys, like 25 different things. It was a long time ago. I was a kid when we went. We drove up. So we we were going to take a vacation in New York, which is where we ended up. We drove through, like, Pennsylvania and New Jersey and stuff. So I couldn't tell you. Thanks for the spin. Thanks, Mario, for joining, man. Should we end this expedition? We've been doing a lot of this. How's the pizza in Iowa? The pizza, okay. The pizza in Iowa is way better than the pizza in California. I will tell you that. Way better. I haven't had any California pizza that's like amazing. There's definitely pizza that I like out here. Like they, we have this place near us called Mod Pizza and you make your own pizza. And like California Pizza Kitchen is okay, but I've never had pizza that like has blown me away. Yeah, California Pizza Kitchen is okay. I don't like love it, but it's not bad. I think that's the thing though. It makes California pizza seem worse because there's so much good food out here and pizza just isn't on the level of a lot of other things. And so it just makes the pizza seem really bad by comparison, even if it's like fine. California takes the hit on pizza. I've got like Mexican food. Yes, it's pretty much that. We gotta pet our poogie. <clears throat> Fongs is really cool. It was taking me a second to remember what Fongs is, but Fongs is um, like a mixture of Chinese food and pizza. It's pretty cool. Yeah, Fox. Have you the joy of OD farming Shara? No, I need to farm Shara because I want that great sword. I just haven't like committed to doing it. Yeah, Chinese food pizza. We could do Shara. We could do Zenogre. What do you guys want to see? I leave it up to you. Do I have that sword on my wish list? You guys want to see pizza? Yeah, I can't give you that. Can't give you that. We can take this off. Bust out the Pikmin 3. Low rank raid jaggers. Alright. Alright. You alright. I like it. Mario, that was a good suggestion. Beat the 50s. Okay, does anybody remember our... Because I, I don't remember. Does anybody remember our exact time on the low rank Great Jagger speedrun? Uh, where's the Shara tree? There you is. I think it was under a minute. I'm pretty sure it was under a minute. It was 50 something, I think. 
We have tapes. We can go check the tapes. All right. All right, speedrunners only for this chat. Oh, wait, we're, I'm in master rank. I always do that. Two star. Great Jaggers. Just, this is a symbolic pop. This is for good luck. Speedrunners only. We're going to try to get in the 40s. That's going to be our goal. We're going to try to get in the 40s. Yes. Use that gourmet voucher. Perfect. Perfect. We'll do slugger. Been alone in the office, just waiting to post the Death Stranding review. If it was like that, that would be unfortunate. No, I'll be I'll be home when the Death Stranding review goes live. And get that stuff all set up now ahead of time. And Blood does it as well, so uh, Blood Blood handles the posting. Do you get trick or treaters? No, it's kind of a bummer, man. Uh, but I'm in an apartment complex, and I don't think we got any trick or treaters last year, uh, which kind of sucks. It would be it'd be nice, you know. All right, champions. Fifty eighty-five. Thank you, Red Sky. <laughs> oh no, all this candy I have to eat myself. What a terrible tragedy. I don't think we have any candy for potential trick-or-treaters that we've bought. I should probably grab some just in case. I haven't had a single one, but it's... 31 and snowing, yeah. I feel like kids go to neighborhoods to trick-or-treat anyway, so maybe it's just because we're in an apartment complex that kids don't trick-or-treat. I don't know. Did you see the video of those guys beating nearly every monster in the base game on under a minute? No, but I would watch that. Uh, is it Team Darkseid? Did they do it? I just assume any crazy monster hunter thing is Team Darkseid. All right, no time! Clock is ticking. No camera. If only it was right out front. I feel like 20 seconds have already passed. Yes, shock trap, yes. Yes! Oh yeah, that felt good, that felt good. That felt good. I think for sure in the 40s, maybe in the 30s, maybe in the 30s. Do we try it again? Do we just return to camp and try again? Don't disband. Return to camp. We'll give this one more shot. Um, are there any other monsters that we should try for under a minute? Uh, the Clutch Claw was nice there, too. I wonder how quickly we could do Nergigante. Can we do a sub three Nergigante? All right. Time me. Did I, wait, did I miss the time? What was the time? It was 45? I just completely missed the time. 45 seconds. Okay, that's pretty good. That's pretty good. 
45 seconds. Good job, team. Beat it by five seconds. Can you do tempered cure in another minute? No, I can't. Can we try a sub three near Gigante? I'll have to get flashbots for this. Where would be the best place to spawn? I always just spawn in southern. Flash pods. Actually, we'll, here, we'll, we'll get our bits up and do it. Okay, we have flash pods. I don't think we have them on the radio menu. Maybe we do. I gotta eat too. No. We're just going. All right. Hold on. Let's. Let's go back to base. So we can get everybody in. That's what we wanna do. How do you feel about Cracker Jacks? I'm not big on Cracker Jacks. They're okay. Cracker Jacks feel so old-timey. In, like, kind of a comforting way. But I'm not big on them. I'm not big on caramel corn. The prizes are not as good as they were. Kettle corn, I'm down. Kettle corn, I'm down. I can't remember the last time I had Cracker Jacks. Has this been a more challenging year for Game of the Year, or do you have some solid ones in your head? Both, I think. I think this year is a little bit more challenging than last year. Um, but I also have solid ones in my head already. For sure. Will there be the eldest recess bug? That's a good question. Is that consistent or is it just random? Thanks to this, yeah. It's especially awful when you have not had lunch.
Hey, yo. What's up? How'd the podcast go? It went pretty good. Good. Um, We're doing one last time. Oh, I'm not here to rush you out this week because, like, we can start whenever, you know? Nice. No podcast. No podcast to rush into. Uh, did, did Brandon pull some shenanigans? He pulled some shenanigans. I think that's all we'll have to say on that. He's a shenanigans guy. Yeah. Ben. Yeah. I remember Brad and Huber promising they would come hang out when the podcast was done. I said that to the chat. Yeah. I was like, hey, they, they might be in at the end. Guess who got out of here as fast as possible? Abandoned. <laughs> Abandoned. <laughs> It was Ian who promised that. Oh, man. Yeah. I don't think Brad did. I think okay. Huber mentioned it. But... Kyle, you promised nothing and showed up in the end. Yeah. We're trying to do this in sub three minutes. Uh, this monster I know. Yeah. This is a popular one. Do you know the name? It's okay if you it's don't. It's like Diablo? It's like Diabolos? Nergigante. Nergigante, not even close. There is, <laughs> there is a uh, Diablos okay. monster. Uh, yeah, what's up? Fighting this whole guy? So, we kind of have this slightly running thing where we kill, and I'm too distracted, so it probably won't happen. I've been distracted the whole screen. Um, we, ha we kill like, the first major monster you fight, the first large monster, as quickly as we can. And we just did it in 45 seconds. Nice. We're trying to do this in sub three. That's what we're trying to do. And I'm just sticking at the tail in everybody's way. There are these amazing YouTube videos, Kyle, of people just doing incredible things. Like killing extremely hard monsters super fast or with gimmicky setups or something. My favorite one I ever saw was these guys wearing shawls and they had guns. And so they, they all put on their yellow shawls and yeah. just opened up gunfire around this board. Was it Monster Hunter World? Oh, yeah. Nice. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Putting on Temporal Mantis. Uh, all right. So this is the moment of truth. This is the last thing we're doing on the stream. Kyle, do you think we did it in under three minutes? Yes. Yes. I think so, too. I think so, too. Oh, Schmuckford, I recognize. I was, I was worried at first, but we ended up going pretty fast. Oh, and you don't find out till the very I, end. I think it's going to be close. Okay. I think it's going to be close to three minutes. How come you're not carving them up? It, it wasn't about that. It, it wasn't about the carve. I didn't carve the Great Jagras either. Yo, look at that. Rajong, Lance. Isn't that his armor, and, uh, his weapon and shield really cool? Yes. That's the newest uh, monster. Your weapon's sick. Thanks, man. This is uh, Velkana, the guy that's on the cover of Iceborne. Uh, someone wanted to know if you always maimed the Great Sword. Yes. Always. Yes. Nice. Um, I, when I was first playing Monster Hunter, reading up on stuff, I started with Sword and Shield, but once I found Great Sword, I never went back. Cool. So mostly yes. 138, Ben. That's sub two. 138! Sub two! That's sub two! We sub two. All right. Well, now we have to get under a minute, but that's much better than I was thinking. I thought it was going to be close to three. All right, that's a crunch. That was a really, really good That was a crunch. I, uh, I can actually sign you off. When I first was doing Monster Hunter World, that would have been like an impossibility. But Master Rank gear, you know, helps a lot. All right, everybody, that's going to be Weekly Hunts. We talked about candy a lot. Uh, I hope you have a good Halloween. Thank you to Kyle for coming in, for not abandoning. Yeah. Um, and yeah, thank you to everybody who hunted or who didn't hunt and just hung out. It was fun. Bye, guys.